Welcome back. We're here today talking about something that we don't normally talk about, which is post-production stuff. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about this brand new M3 MacBook Air. Now, I had a MacBook Air that was maybe a 2018. I took it with me on set to do transfers and stuff when I worked small crew. And it was getting to the point where all these modern codecs, like if it did want to transfer something and just spot check footage, like it's laggy, it kind of sucks playing anything 4K, it was kind of a pain. So I felt like time to upgrade uh, to a new MacBook Air so I could, you know, do some more set transfer. Now with this one, we've got the two USB-C ports plus a charging port, which is a huge upgrade from the old ones. Um, but what we really want to talk about today is, is this base model M3 Air actually a viable editing machine and just how far can you push it? So what we're gonna do real quick is we released a video on the Sony Verano, which is what we're shooting on right now, a little while back. And in that timeline in Resolve, we had Airy Raw footage from the Mini LF. We had XOCN footage that are 8.6K from the Verano. We had Red Raptor 8K footage in Raw, uh, a multitude of formats, 6K Raw from the C500. And it was about a 40 minute timeline. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring that timeline up real quick on this M3 dual screen capture and just walk you through kind of playback what we've got going on and just see exactly what we can do with this machine. Okay, so here's our timeline. We've got a lot going on. What we're gonna do real quick is just hit play. Just let this roll through for a second. Um, and this is with our timeline set to 1080p. So pretty good playback across the board, you know, depending on what you've got for stuff. On this timeline, this is our finished export. So we've got color and transitions and text and uh, all kinds of stuff going on. And it seems to play decently well at uh, 1080p. Now we're just gonna adjust the timeline to do 4K. So if you do wanna watch in 4K, we're just gonna let that play out and just see if this has any drop frames. And this is all 2398, by the way. So uh, let's just see what happens real quick. Super great, honestly. I was actually very blown away you know, we, we had edited this video on our M1 uh, Pro and it did a great job. I was very interested to see what a base level M3 Air could do. And to be honest, it's very surprising how well it handles all this footage. I mean, we're dealing with some of the most high-end, thick, robust codecs on the market in this timeline and it's a long timeline and it's doing very well. So if you're a content creator, if you have a video production company, if you like to travel and edit on the go and be lightweight, I really think this machine, if you're running Resolve or something like FCPX, Premiere is always a little bit lagging behind in terms of how it uses its processing power. But all in all, I feel like this is a great value for a modern machine that allows you to basically edit any footage from any camera that is out on the market. And not only that, the new screen that's in here in both the 13 and 15 inch models is fantastic. It is just chock full of color, loads of range. Um, very sharp, a lot of resolution. It is a joy to do color on, and I feel like it is very accurate, and I don't feel like, oh man, I'm really missing out by not having my grading monitor with me on the side. I really think if you wanted to, like, let's just say do an edit on a plane and be ready to export when you land. You can do everything in your timeline and color and export, probably just on this one machine, and it's gonna look great. So just gonna really quick touch on the specs, just so we know what this is. So I paid about uh, $11.99, so the specs on this computer, uh, roughly, is that it has a 512 gigabyte internal SSD. It is a eight core CPU and a 10 core GPU, and it has eight gigs of RAM. Base model, pretty much everything across the board. It definitely screams in terms of Wi-Fi performance and transferring footage goes really quickly through these USB-C ports. And in general, just the processing power, even with only eight gigs of RAM, if you're just doing your video editing and not doing a whole suite of things, really works great, especially in Resolve. So with that, if you were thinking about, you know, getting a new rig, if you saw the M3 Air and you were curious, I'm super happy with this purchase so far. And I think this is something that we can use for years to come, given 
what's out on the market, what we think is coming out very soon. Um, this should be a good travel work uh, computer that gets you by for a majority of needs in the video world. So with that, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked this video. Remember, like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.